Hello and welcome to this video on using a mind map to support uh, visual and non-linear thinking. So with a mind map they're quite versatile in that you might notice I'm signed into this site called coggle.it and I have two mind maps already set up here. So I'll click onto the task list map and show you how to edit or add items to this. So in this it's a stepped process so I have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday and so Monday I have takeout bins and the weekly shop. So this is a, a list that you know you, you are thinking sequentially and you also have color coded to, to pop the visual out when you print it out as an image. So Tuesday I might have a task list to study and a topic. Uh, Wednesday I might have a well, might have a, a walk planned or a bit of exercise planned. So what I'm doing there is clicking on this plus symbol and adding the information here. So you might notice when I'm adding or clicking on the box, some items will appear. So this is the text formatting. You can italicize or bold text. You can add a link to any other website or uh, feature here, which I'll show you in a moment. And this is to upload an image. So I'll click on this and upload an image here. So I might resize it to fit. So there's that image resized. So that's where I'm using visual um, uh, features to remember information. So useful for creating my map, which is just not only words, but just those visuals or images to support uh, reviewing or revising. So I'm just gonna go back into the maps that I've already created. And here's one I have called essay or assignment. So here's how I'd plan out or brainstorm an essay or an assignment. So I need references, which I can put links to other websites here. Here's a picture I have like view chapter X or page Y in the book there. Some t points to mention in points to mention. Sorry, it's blocked out behind there. Points to mention in my introduction and conclusions. So there's other features here that if I right click on a branch, you can see you can add a comment, uh, you can add a branch here, or that's just the clicking on plus, and you can also delete that branch. When you hover over, you can also hit control, and you might notice that that X appears. If I let go, it turns to a plus, hold, holding down control, turns it that, turns it to an X, and I can click on that to delete that branch. Clicking on control Z or control Z, will undo that and make that branch appear back. So this is my essay or assignment created in mind mapped out. Now I want to get the text out of this. So what you're doing is you don't realize that you're combining the planning stage or the brainstorm stage of this to uh, the writing stage. So up here at the top right, there's a little down arrow to download this coggle and there's multiple formats you can download it as. A PDF, an image if you wanted to print it out, uh, preferably on a color printer and have that hanging up somewhere. Uh, a Visio, which is Microsoft Visio flowchart program, if you have that uh, Microsoft Office installed. A .mm, so a .mind map file, if you have other mind mapping programs available to you. So others would be uh, Inspiration or XMind, or two other ones I, that I know of. And here's what, where I, I, I'll see a plain text outline. So I can just click on that. And there's the essay assignments downloaded at the, probably behind my image there, but downloaded as a text file that I can copy and paste into Word. So that's the versatility of using online mind mapping software to support visual uh, thinking, uh, color coding, and non-linear thinking. Thank you.